Hey guys, welcome back to my channel AG Motion Designs. And in today's video, we are going to create this Fiverr logo animation inside of After Effects without using any third party plugin. So, if you are new to this channel, then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates. So here we are in Adobe After Effects. Let's create a new composition. We will call this as main animation width. I'll choose 1920 height 180 frame rate 30 and duration is 10 seconds and background color. I'll choose solid white color and hit OK and hit OK. Choose gradient guide option and hit title safe action. Then I have this logo over here PNG file. I'll simply import in my After Effects like this. So we have this file in my main animation cop and my project window also select this logo press s for scaling option and scale it at appropriate size like this yep this looks good to me now we will uh, focus uh, firstly on this animation portion so for that i'll hide this logo for now i'll select my paint tool i don't want any fill so i'll delete this fill at least for now and for the stroke color i'm going to choose black color only and by holding shift i'm going to create some stroke like that and let's increase the stroke width somewhere around like this now select the shape layer press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically then choose our pen behind tool shortcut key is y and by holding ctrl i'll snap this anchor point at the bottom like this now select the shape layer hit ctrl d press p for position and move this over here make sure that there is no gap between these two so adjust it properly like that and for this one hold your pen behind tool and by holding ctrl i'll snap this anchor point at the uppermost edge now select both the layers press s for scaling option and unlink this now select this first shape layer let's make it zero initially select this one and let's make it zero create one keyframe on each and go to around 20 frames and let's make them 100 and let's make them 100 now select those keyframes and hit f9 so you will get something like this let's select both the keyframes and let's move them over here around like that yeah press p for position and let's move this stroke over here like this now select both the layers hit ctrl d bring them at the top press p again and move them over here but make sure there is no gap see now select all this force hit ctrl d bring them at the top press p and move them over here like this hit u again and u again to so we cannot see that again select this eight stroke layers hit ctrl d bring them at the top press p and move them over here and again make sure that there is no gap between all of them hit u u select all the 16 layers hit ctrl d bring them at the top press p and let's move them over here like that hit u and u now i'll select all of them except this for logo and press p and let's move them somewhere around over here like that yeah now go backwards hit u and if you hit play we will get something like this now hit page down button two times select all of them and obviously accept this logo layer and hold alt and close bracket and right click keyframe assistance sequence layers and hit ok like that let's zoom out and let's increase it so we will get something like this now i'll select all of them i'll press ctrl shift c and i'll call it as mask and hit ok double click to open this select all of them and bring them up to the last and we will get something like this now we will select this mask we will go to the effect and presets panel and we will search for transform oops sorry uh, we will select this and we will type transform effect it we will double select this composition and simply double click to apply this and you can skew the axis like that let's make it 90 and let's skew somewhere like this 
now select this for for i mean what we call logo uh, and choose track mat if you want to switch this option press f4 so you can switch and choose alpha mat so we will get this kind of reveal over here at this point so this is go our logo reveal all thing so i'll cancel this mask and i know that my logo reveal starts from here at this point so i'll select them i'll hold alt open bracket i'll go to the start and i'll move this over here so i know that my logo is gonna start from this portion so i'll select the, both of them i'll press ctrl shift c and i'll call it as logo reveal and hit ok and let's hide this now I'm going to select my pen tool again and at this point I'm going to select this stroke uh, a little bit grey color and stroke width I'll choose 5 and from here to here I'll create one stroke like this and then I'll go to the add option and I'll choose repeater go to the repeater go to the transform repeater one and decrease the position somewhere like this and increase over here somewhere like this so we need to adjust it like that let's increase this copies like this like this let's increase the copies again and now i'll move this over here let's hide this now we will choose our ellipse tool we do will use some fill and let's delete the stroke for this one and by holding shift i'll create one ellipse select this shape layer press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center go to the align tab align horizontally and then align it vertically press s and let's scale it like that select this shape layer initially let's make this zero create one keyframe and go to around one second and let's make it 145 like this now select this shape layer and choose alpha mat so we'll get something like this now select both the keyframes and hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph and by holding shift i'll move this over here so we'll get something like this select this shape layer press t for opacity create one keyframe go over here and let's make it zero select both the keyframes and hit f9 so we will get something like this now select this shape layer hit ctrl d and enable this layer we don't want any fill so i'll delete this fill all we want is stroke and i'll enable this logo for now only for color selection so i'll select this shape layer i'll choose this stroke and with the help of the speaker i'll choose this green color and let's increase the stroke to 50 and go to the start and in search option i'll type stroke and we will get the stroke width and we will create one keyframe and let's make it 100 now select this shape layer hit u go over here and let's make this zero and we will increase the size of it now select both the keyframes and hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph and by holding shift i'll move this thing over here so we will get something like this let's hide this logo reveal for now and now we will move this a little bit forward like that and if you want for this stroke you can choose this green color also like this now after that i'll select this shape layer again i'll hit ctrl d hit u go over here and now i'm not gonna reduce the stroke width i'll to make it phi only let's uh, go around add menu and i'll add trim path go to the trim path and let's make it 20 or let's say 10 like this and so we'll get this kind of extra stuff now select this hit u go over here and let's reduce the scale like this and now i'll select this press r for rotation create uh, alt click on the stopwatch type time into let's say 100 and now we'll get something like this or instead of 100 let's make it 800 like this now hit u so we can get this stroke width let's move this keyframe over here and now we will make it zero so we'll get something like this now i'll select this stroke layer hit ctrl d 
press U go over here and let's increase the size of it like this hit U right click new and I'll create one null object I'll select this shape layer I'll make it a parent with this null one select this null one press R for rotation and you can rotate it somewhere like this so we will get some extra rotating animations and now I'll delete this null because we don't need that or I think we need that sorry for that I forgot to mention yeah we need that null object and now we will add some extra elements like I'll choose this uh, ellipse tool and by holding shift I'll create one ellipse control alt home to align that anchor point to the center go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically go to the start press p for position create one keyframe in search bar I'll type stroke and I'll create one keyframe on the stroke with then hit u go to around 1.15 frames let's move this over here and stroke width should be zero select those keyframes hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph and by holding shift move this over here also press s create one keyframe over here hit u go over here create another keyframe go to the start let's make it zero select those keyframes hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift let's move this over here so we'll get this additional thing over here now select this hit ctrl d and press v and let's sorry let's move this over here hit ctrl d 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 move this over here so we are getting something like that hit page down button and move this over here and zoom in a little bit you can adjust it randomly also like that let's select all of them and move them over here yeah hit you okay select this logo reveal and now we will enable this select this logo reveal hit ctrl d two times select this uh, three logo reveals and we will enable this option so we can see them now i'll select this lower one and i'll go to the effect and presets panel and i'll search for find edge effect double click on it let's disable these layers right now yeah now go hit page down button two times and let's move this over here enable this let's apply fill effect and double click on it and we will choose darker greener version of it like that and now we will move this over here and now as you can see we are getting something like this and if you want instead of this find edge effect you can apply fill effect and you can choose either different color or the darker version of greener color i'll choose darker version of green so i'll get something like this over here so if i see this i'll get this kind of animation now i'll select all of them uh, except this logo i'll select all of them i'll press ctrl shift c and hit ok and i'll hit ctrl d and i'll move this over here press s for scaling option and scale it down like this let's move this over here so we will get simple pop-up animation like this press n so this is how you can create simple pop-up logo reveal and there is another thing you can do uh, you can select this pen tool and let's create one stroke like this land stroke width i'll choose 5 then again we will go to the add menu and we will add trim path go to the trim path uh, i think instead of trim path we i'll hit ctrl z i'll choose repeater go to the repeater transform repeater one let's decrease this and increase the position like that and let's move this not this one but this shape layer over here and i'll bring this down i'll select this logo reveal i'll hit ctrl d and select this shape layer and i'll choose alpha mat select all of this logo reveals and i'll move them forward 
so now we will get this easy lines first and then we will get this logo reveals and if you want you can select this you can increase the number of copies and decrease the positions to up to 10 like that you can select this and you can either hide this one also but let's delete this extra one so we will get something like this so yep with the help of this kind of technique you can create this kind of fiber or any logo you want you can select this one unlink this and let's make it minus 53 I press f4 and let's enable this option and i'll choose quarter resolution so now we can see our logo properly right click new and create one null object select all of them and make it apparent with this null one i mean null two initially let's make it one one zero create one keyframe go to around four second and let's make it one zero zero and hit n at that point press ctrl y to create a background layer i'll make it a white color and i'll bring this downwards and now our logo animation is almost ready like that so that's it for the today's video we will see you in the next lecture so i hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial if you like this tutorial then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates until then stay tuned